Life on um, Timida, London, and um, Mala Timida. And I don't tend to take more than 15 minutes maximum.
Okay, good evening everybody and thank you very very much for joining me once again tonight. Um, this is um, the Rosola Foundation um, aid to people in London and um, I believe everybody can hear me loud and clear. This is the Rosola Foundation um, aid to people in London and um, um, we have obviously specified those people who are going to be receiving this and I believe it's on my update as well it's on the, it's on the, um, the topic for the show <coughs> so basically I need to elaborate on what we have been doing where we are now and what's next um, I'm sure we all know Rosola Foundation. They have a Facebook page called um, Rosola Foundation. And you can pick up as much information as you wish from the page. Um, they've been operating um, in Nigeria for a while and um, they've extended that operation to the UK. Um, we have started um, this um, relief. Um, in um, aid of the COVID-19 that's um, that started already and um, I think yesterday we were out to deliver um, food packs to um, mostly elderly um, people in London so that's still ongoing that's still ongoing and today we've been out We've been out all day trying to um, stock up um, the um, venue where the distribution and the packaging, the packing and the distribution is going to take place. Um, apologies to all those who have been calling me yesterday. A lot of people have been calling me yesterday and um, today as well. Unfortunately, I've not been able to pick up. Apologies for that. But as I said earlier on, I'm going to be picking up calls from 10.30 tonight till probably 1, 2 a.m. if you want to call me. But I believe I left a message for anyone who wants to be in touch to leave a, a message on WhatsApp. The only number to contact me on in relation to Rosula Foundation is the 07 432 619 for, let, me see, let me start again. The only number to contact me as regards the Rosula Foundation is the 07 432 I believe the number is up there for you again 07 432 619 uh, Many people have been calling my other number. I mean, that's not the number dedicated for this uh, program. So the number dedicated is the one that needs to be called, please. Okay. Um, so as I said, from today, from 10.30 tonight, I'm going to be picking up calls. I'm going to be looking at all the messages that have been sent. And I want to make it clear, as I have put it up there, we are focusing. We are not feeding everybody in the UK. We are not giving food packs to everybody in the UK. It is specifically for certain categories of people which I believe has been well explained in many of my updates. Um, we are looking at people who have um, financial difficulties. These financial difficulties might be as a result of them not having a legal status in this country. Another reason might be because they are out of, 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 of um, employment um, because of the situation of things at the moment. And we are not looking to give these food packs to people who are in receipt of government funds. If you know you are in receipt of government funds, directly or indirectly, this does not apply to you for now. I mean, there might be other things that um, the Rosula Foundation might come up with which might apply to you, but this particular stage we are doesn't apply to people who are receiving funding from the government. Okay, I believe I've made that very, very clear. 
Um, yes, there's a possibility that I'm going to know quite a lot of people um, in the UK, in London, as a result of the job I do. But I want one thing to be very, very clear. I'm not going to compromise my professionalism. I'm not going to compromise my integrity. Okay? So, I'm going to make sure every single person that receives this food pack does deserve it. And I mean that. I am doing this on my own. Okay? All the information has been collated. It's going to be confidential. I want people to be assured of that. All information is being collected because obviously I speak to people over the phone. I take notes. Okay, I ask for information, I ask for details. All this is going to be confidential and I can guarantee everyone. So, if you're going to call me up, please be honest as much as possible. Okay, because I might want to ask extra, um, some questions just to ascertain the credibility of those people calling us. Okay, so confidentiality is very, very important. We are going to obviously consider a lot of the elderly people who have been in touch. Okay, they are going to come top of the list, the elderly people. Okay, they are going to come top of the list. This first stage we are doing is for 200 people. This first stage is for 200 people. Okay. Um, talking about logistics, okay. We were thinking of um, starting the distribution on Friday. That isn't going to be possible. That's not going to be possible. We've only just um, received the packaging for the food items today and um, that only just turned up this evening when I arrived into my flat so we've only just received that but everything is in place we have a location which is in Thamesmead we have a location in Thamesmead it's a it's a food bank place in Thamesmead we have um, deposited um, a lot of um, items in there today which obviously you can find on um, Rus um, on the um, Rosula Foundation page. So many pictures, so many videos to see what has been done today. So if you go on to their page, Rosula Foundation, you will see a lot of information that has been, I mean, a lot of um, and developments which we have, we have done today. So the, now we have everything in place. Um, today is um, Thursday. We need to start um, packaging tomorrow and um, it's going to take us a couple of days probably tomorrow saturday and maybe sunday so there's a possibility that we are going to be distributing by tuesday there's a possibility we're going to be distributing by thursday if i have any important information i mean that's going to be passed on I'm going to obviously put up updates relating to that. So I would employ people as much as possible. Come on to my um, page on Facebook, Olatimidayo. You would obviously see updates relating to the Rosula Foundation. Okay. So as I said, we are looking to start distribution probably Tuesday. Um, I'm going to need a couple of days, which I'm going to start tomorrow to look at all those who have sent in messages whatsapp messages and obviously respond and from there we we'll decide who and who are going to be amongst the first 200 that will be receiving these um, food packs okay and um, lastly before i go before i go um i'm sure many of you know that i started my own charity some about over a month ago okay and I have also anchored um, another charity for somebody else that had to do with disabled people um, and um, Rosula Foundation obviously contacted me um, last week to anchor this particular project which I'm quite very happy to handle 
So I want um, I want every comment that relates to Rosula Foundation to be purely based on the charity work being done. Okay, I want us to be professional with our comments and let us focus on the project of the Rosula Foundation. Okay, this is what I've come for. Okay, um, since I'm not working at the moment, I'm happy to focus on this charity, which is what I want to focus on for now. So please, I wouldn't want distractions. Let your comments be well guarded, professional, and directed to the charity alone. Thank you very much and God bless you.